sad update to a story we brought you earlier this week on Montana This Morning and KRTV.com. A body believed to be that of missing Clarence McNabb was discovered earlier today in North Dakota. The Williston Police Department responded to an assistance of service call. According to a release from the police department there, when officers arrived, they found a man who was then pronounced dead. Family members said that they had not seen McNabb or heard from him since Saturday night when he had returned to Williston where he'd been working on oil rigs and staying with family. Authorities have ruled out foul play. They do plan to release more information once the identity is confirmed. A reward has been offered for information about the murder of Matthew Grant. The Federal Bureau of Investigation announced a reward of up to $10,000 for anyone with information leading to an arrest in the case. Grant had recently arrived in Montana from Canada and was reported missing on December 15th of 2016. Blackfeet Law Enforcement Services issued a missing persons alert for Grant shortly after his disappearance. Grant's body was found on December 31st in an alley between the College Homes and South Glacier Homes neighborhoods. Family members say with this reward they hope someone will come forward and an arrest is made. It's been hard on all of us. Uh, we are my sisters, my nieces, my nephews. If, every morning we wake up thinking about him, go to bed thinking about him. I wake up middle of the night thinking about what they done to him, what they did do, and it's hard. Anyone with information is asked to call the FBI. And it's been more than six months since Ashley Loring Heavy Runner was last seen on the Blackfeet Reservation. Last month, Ashley's sister Kimberly Loring organized a walk in Bab. They went door to door looking for any information about the whereabouts of Ashley. The Blackfeet Tribal Business Council announced that they were offering a $5,000 reward. The Bureau of Indian Affairs also offered a $1,000 reward. Loring says she hopes to do another walk to gather more information, but has not said where it will take place. If you have any information, about Ashley, you're encouraged to call the tip line and you can find that number on our website.